In this video, I'm going to provide you with two things, how to design and lay out a return tread detail at the bottom of a stairway. And the second will be to provide you with a couple of different things to think about when positioning the face of the riser or even a wall with this type of design. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see here where we're not going to have a problem with this type of design here where the face of the riser lines up with the face of the finished wall. And this would be more or less a standard stairway design along with the stairway with a wall. And the face of the riser either lines up with the wall or is set back a little bit or even lines up with the back surface of the finished wall. So I just wanted to throw that out there, provide you with a starter design here. You can start with a design like this or a design like this if you have a wall. Without a wall, you would use this one here. Next up, we're going to go ahead and throw in the detail that I was referring to. And to design something like this, you can simply extend each step the width of the step. So if I have an 11 inch wide step here, I can come out 11 inches and do the same with the next two steps. And those measurements would look something like this. So come out 11 inches, 22 inches, 33 inches, so that we can create three 11 inch steps. And let's not forget that your steps might be a different width. However, the principles are basically going to be the same to create a detail like this one. And if we want to put a wall in here and have the face of the riser line up with the face of the wall, we're not going to have a problem. However, if we move the wall out, we have the face of the riser lining up with the back of the wall or located somewhere in between the front and the back of the wall, then we're going to have a problem with our layout. And I'm not about to suggest that something like this will not pass in your area. However, I can provide you with an example of what it's going to look like if you don't line the face of the riser up with the face of the wall, like we're going to do in the next example. So here we have the face of the finished riser lining up with the face of the wall so that we can create stair steps that will be the same size in depth. However, they might not meet the minimum width building codes for a stairway, and that won't allow you to use this design. So I just wanted to throw those things out there for anyone who needs a little more information about building this type of detail at the bottom of a stairway.